David, play the clip that we have mm -hmm. that gives us the summary of the, I believe we have a clip of the IHU variant. Now I, I, I missed, I messed up twice this morning. Let me, do we have that one, James, David? Okay, I think David may be, okay, there we go. Right. The surge in COVID-19 cases due to Omicron. Now, fresh reports say that French researchers have detected a new COVID-19 variant and have temporarily named it as IHU. The new variant is probably of Cameroonian origin. The variant detected in the Central African country has 46 mutations and 37 deletions as compared to the original COVID-19 variant that infected the globe. The new variant from the lineage named B16402 is believed to have infected 12 people in the country. The new variant was reported in a yet-to-be peer-reviewed study supported by the French government. Philippe Colson from IHU Mediterranean Infection Marseille, France was quoted by reports as saying, for 12 SARS-CoV positive patients living in the same geographical area of southeastern France, QPCR testing that screened for variant-associated mutations showed an atypical combination. However, it is too early to speculate on virological, epidemiological or clinical features of this IHU variant based on these 12 cases, he said. The first case was detected in a man who had returned to France from a trip to Cameroon. Listen, y'all need to stop traveling, first and foremost. Sit, sit down and stay home for a minute, could you please? Um, and the second thing, before I turn to you, James, because because this is like, this is everything is getting shut down. Like, like I mean, around the city, man, <laughs> like, but stuff's not getting delivered. Trash isn't getting picked up. Um, they've got COVID-19, and it's, it's so prevalent. There's COVID-19 in the wastewater, right, at levels that they haven't seen through the entire pandemic. Um, meanwhile, as I was watching that Pastor Galloway at the bottom, it's the same phenomenon. Can the pace of deletions keep up with the pace of mutations? Mm. But we staying out in the streets, going to the parties, going to the club. Um, I don't know which one of y'all want to start first, but we got both of those things going on at the same time. Well, just honor, honor, let's let's honor the fact that we have the detection. Right. The reason yeah. that we could detect this is because African health centers and places have been vigilant enough and have been part of the process enough so that we could detect these things early. Right. right. And so, I mean, this is a shout out to the fact that there are some folks who are are, are doing their daggone job and waiting for the rest of us to to, to jump on board. But also right. keep in mind, too, that I think one of the, the experts that you had on and previously, you know, talk about viruses mutate when they spread. Mm -hmm. And that's so, right. you know, the more spread there is, the more mutation it is. And that's where I even got the pacing language in there. So I just want to give a shout out to the motherland for having the wherewithal to have things in place to give us this information so we can actually do something about it in the first place. And James, those those yeah. that that wastewater issue, that was an Atlanta issue. This, this trash is not being picked up across like people getting sick, man. And and and, and I don't know if the government's know I, they notice I don't they they care that the whole thing is crumbling. Yeah, everything is just going to, 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 to sugar honey iced tea right now. <laughs> Basically, it's just, it's crazy out here, bro. It's really crazy. It, like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, then a, a flu rona running around too on top of this new variant. Man, yeah. man, if people just stay home just for a little bit, um, there's just too many analogs to this. Listen, Pastor Galloway, if you, if I, if you, if you let me keep you, I'm gonna end up keeping you and going to the next part of this conversation, which is he, what happens when, with Pharaoh <laughs> when Pharaoh hardens its heart. And I say its heart in particular, because if this e economic system hadn't hardened his its heart, then probably I don't know about seven hundred fifty thousand people probably could be still alive today. Uh, preventable. That's this is the re repeat of all of the health professionals that we talk to that we keep folks informed with are saying you know this is so much of this is preventable. Um, and that is one of the heartbreaking things about it. Um, you know, we we uh, just do those who have to do hospital rotations, uh, hospice rotations, who have to stay connected to doctors. Um, you know, you get it. You get it right away. I think I told you before I had a cousin who's a traveling COVID nurse and they have and, and, and they tell the story of having to to try to just to convince family to get on to to, to, to protect themselves you know, of wheeling of, uh, of a husband into a room to say goodbye right. and had to do special things to do it just because the wife, they knew the wife was going to pass. Um, and then shortly after the husband did too, that uh -huh. is the reality that folks are, live, are living. And yes. so 
you know, just because you can close mm. yourself off from that reality doesn't mean that that reality isn't still happening. Man, there are so many parallels here. James, uh, before mm. we go to break, you said something about a flu Rona. I thought you were I thought you were just saying that. That's actually a thing. Ben, you haven't heard. Man, I'm I'm trapped in well, I'm I'm in political <laughs> exile right now. Uh David, run the clip of this flu Rona. What is a yeah. flu Rona? So we've gone through two flu seasons with the threat of COVID-19 still looming, but new this morning, the first official case of flu Rona has been confirmed. So what is flu Rona? It's being infected with COVID-19 and the flu at the same, same time. time. And it's raising concerns over what the two together can do. Health experts say flu Rona uh. could be catastrophic to the immune system, but they also say mm. they don't see this becoming a common occurrence. And if you have your COVID-19 and flu vaccines, you likely are going to have mild symptoms. D bro, <laughs> I'm, 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 listen, listen, I'm, I have the worst sense of humor. I laugh at times where you should not laugh. This is not a laughing matter, but my God, I thought you were joking when you said flu Rona. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I was joking. <laughs> right. And just, just, just to, to, to be clear, right. That's, that's having two yes. of these viral attacks in your at body at the same at, time, at the same right? time. Which is, um, you know, which, we like which... the nickname. We like to <laughs> pair things together and make everybody think it's the same, mm -hmm. but it's two, but, but that's actually worse.